Stan Gibalisco here. I'm going to show you uh, on some examples from my book Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics regarding the simplification of complicated series and parallel resistance inductance capacitance or RLC circuits. Um, you'll find this material in the sixth edition of the book and I always recommend you get the paperback edition, not the electronic version, for reasons I've outlined previously, uh, mainly platform incompatibility problems. You don't have that with a paper book. So I always recommend you get the paper copy. You can get it new or used at Amazon.com. You might even find it in your public library. But the gist of this uh, subject matter appears on pages 272 and 273 regarding 15, uh, figure 16-8 and figure 16-9. First let's look at a complicated uh, series RLC circuit. Now here the capacitances are given in picofarads. The Inductances are given in microhenries and the resistances are given in ohms. You have, as you can see, a rather complicated jumble of components connected in series at A in figure 16-8 on page 273. In order to simplify this circuit to just one resistance, just one capacitance and just one inductance, you simply combine the capacitances, the inductances, and the resistances according to the rules for series connections. In the case of inductances, you simply add them. So 22 plus 68 plus 33 equals 123. Same for resistances. 47 plus 51 equals 98. For capacitances in series, remember, you have a more complicated formula, but in this case, since they're all equivalent, uh, or they're all equal, all three capacitances are identical, uh, the equivalent series capacitance is just one-third of the three, or 100 picofarads. So the circuit at A, uh, if you connect it to into any complicated a sophisticated radio circuit or whatever you want to do with it and then pull it and replace it with this circuit at B assuming that the resistance can handle the necessary current load you're going to have the exact same results because these two circuits are precisely equivalent not partially equivalent not almost completely equivalent but absolutely equivalent okay this is figure 16-8 in this book figure uh, teach yourself electricity and electronics edition number six now for figure 16-9 on page 273 I hope I didn't say page 278 I'm getting awfully absent-minded here is an example uh, with parallel RLC circuits. And the same rules apply. Um, here resistances are in ohms, inductances in micro henrys, and capacitances in pico farads. What you do here uh, is you add according to the rules for parallel circuits. The resistances are the same so when you connect two identical resistors in series you get half the value or 50 ohms. In regards to the inductances, the rules are the same as with resistances. You get half of either value when they're identical, or 34 uh, microhenries of inductance. And here, with the capacitances in parallel, they add together. So 33 and 47 will give you 80 picofarads. So if you have a sophisticated electronic circuit on which the fate of a spacecraft depends and you uh, pull this little thing out of out of the circuits 
and replace it with this even littler thing, assuming that the resistance can handle the necessary current, you're going to get the exact same results because these circuits are not only for all intents and purposes, but for all imaginable intents and purposes, equivalent, identical. They'll do the very same thing. Once again, this is from my book, Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics, edition number six, published in June of 2016 by McGraw-Hill and written by amateur radio operator W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations. If you're a ham radio operator, you know what 73 means, best regards, and I will now say... Stangibalisco signing off. Until next time, so long, which in my CW fist translates to da 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 da. -da.